Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content. Now, today's video, we're gonna be doing a quick, short, sharp rundown of the ordinary antioxidants. Anybody that knows the channel knows I love the ordinary. They have three antioxidant product products within their line and a lot of you guys are saying which one should I choose do any of them work what it's kind of like a review and an expectation of each of these products so in this video I'm going to be talking about how each one works which one you should really incorporate in your skincare routine and what the benefits can be from an antioxidant now I'm only focusing about the ordinary um, in this specific video but I am going to be in the future looking at some other antioxidants which are on the market I did do a video on another antioxidant that's completely different to the ones I'm talking about today and that's Q10 and um, which I'll link there so check that out if you want a little bit of another alternative to the ones that I'm mentioning today so the ordinary you know straight off the bat that the price point of these products is going to be sensational and all of these antioxidants are under 10 pounds 15 dollars that's absolutely fantastic because antioxidants can often be some of the most overpriced elements in your skincare routine some of that's justified because they do take a lot of scientific study and can be quite difficult to formulate but some of that is just because they create hype buzz and marketing around them and they sting you on the price so i love the ordinary for keeping this very drugstore and fantastic what are antioxidants well at their very basic and antioxidant is something which prevents oxidative stress and free radicals from entering the skin uh, the cell the cell structure of the skin and creating damage aging and just premature degradation of things like collagen and, and elastin which help support the skin looking vibrant useful and elastic so you everybody can benefit from an antioxidant in their skincare routine but you really just need to make sure you're choosing the right one for you and what you want it to deliver so first off the bat we have the euk 134 i'm going to leave an image of it there for you this has a very complex mechanism of action. So it's quite, I won't go into the full science behind it. If you're interested, you can read it yourself. The scientific papers are all online for you to look at. But this is a very complex antioxidant. It is super potent and super powerful and has a number of actions for mechanism. So the main thing here is it takes reactive oxygen. So that's something that could a free radical and breaks it down into just oxygen and water. So it turns reactive oxygen back into normal oxygen, which is fine for the skin. Reactive oxygen can cause damage to the cell structure of skin cells. And um, it also regenerates itself. So whereas a lot of antioxidants, once they do what they need to do, they stop the free radical they're then useless, they're spent and they don't continue to work. This continues to regenerate and work, which is almost unheard of in an antioxidant. So if you put this product on in the morning, until you wash it off, you know you're getting that full potency and you don't need to reapply. So that's fantastic in terms of an antioxidant and knowing that you protect your day round without having to reapply. Um, so I love that. This is my go-to antioxidant straight off the bat. I love this. I think this is a fantastic antioxidant. The price point is really accessible. It's six pounds here in the UK, which is great. A few things to bear in mind. Number one, you've never, ever, ever put this on straight after an exfoliating acid. So exfoliating acids will quickly um, destroy this and its mechanism of action, rendering it completely useless. So make sure that you leave the exfoliating acid time to dry and then buffer it with some other serums before you then put this on because you don't want it to come in contact with a direct acid. It'll just stop the product from working and make it pointless. And um, you also need to be aware, this is quite all of these are oil free and water free. So antioxidants do degrade quite quickly in water. So you'll find that these are water free. However, this does have quite a greasy texture to it and you can find it's a little bit difficult for it to sink into the skin. It takes, in my experience, about two minutes to fully sink into the skin. So then you can go to your next step. Two minutes is nothing in the grand scheme of things. But if you are one of these people that just likes to throw your skincare on and walk out the door, this might not be for you. For everyone else, I think this is the starter antioxidant from the ordinary. If you just want to buy one that you want an all rounder that you can put on and forget about, this is it. A beautiful product, fantastic price point. I really honestly can't find any cons with this other than the texture. It takes a little bit of time to sink in and do its work. Now, moving on. Now, this was really hard to pronounce, so excuse my pronunciation, but that's Phyconogenol 5%. 
I'm only going to say that once because it is really difficult to get off the tongue. This is £8.60. So this is the most expensive of them. It still comes under drugstore pricing and it's under $15 in the US. And um, how this works is slightly different to... It acts, it acts by absorbing those free radicals before they can do the damage. But it also binds itself to collagen to prevent the degradation of that collagen. As we get older, our collagen levels in the skin go down. Um, so we lose some of that elasticity in the skin, that firmness. So you want to preserve your collagen levels as long as possible so obviously all the time collagen is being removed and replaced but over time our ability to replace it decreases so this binds to it and allows that collagen to last for longer before it's degraded therefore the collagen levels in the skin naturally increase so this is a fantastic fantastic antioxidant if you are have slightly more mature skin and you're looking to prevent further degradation of collagen this is a fantastic antioxidant that you need in your life it works great with um, vitamin c so everybody should have a vitamin c in their skincare in the morning that is a fantastic antioxidant and will also brighten the skin this works fantastically with vitamin C because it's the only ingredient which allows vitamin C, which has become oxidized. So it's done its work. It's got that free radical. It's pulled it in. It's oxidized itself, but prevented damage to the skin. This is the only ingredient which will um, reverse that oxidization process. So will allow um, the recycling of that vitamin C so it can continue to work for longer. That is a fantastic. So if you have a vitamin C and you want a um, if you want an antioxidant which can then complement vitamin C, this is the one for you. I love it and it's worth being slightly more expensive than the others because it's a fantastic product. Again, oil and water free. It's vegan because it's plant based. It's derived from pine bark. So it's plant based vegan, which is fantastic. Um, I, I think it's a wonderful product. It sinks in easier than the EUK 134. So if you're looking for a quick antioxidant that you put on and you walk out that door, this is going to be a better product for you. Overall, absolutely fantastic. Finally, we go to Reservoratrol and Ferulic Acid. Now, normally, if you're looking at a Reservoratrol and Ferulic Acid in ingredients, they normally come in about the half a percent, one percent concentration. This is three percent of each. This is like powerhouse, full strength, getting in there and doing the antioxidant. What it's pro what it's promising to do, it's delivering a super high strength, and it's five pounds here in the UK, so around the eight or nine dollar point. Beautiful price point for a beautiful product. Anybody who's watched this channel before knows I love the CE Ferulic by um, SkinCeuticals. That is a powerhouse product that combines vitamin C and also ferulic acid and vitamin E. It's a gorgeous product, but it costs a fortune. It's over $100. So if you're looking for a real dupe for that product, just get yourself a really good vitamin C serum and add in this Reservatrol and Ferulic Acid combination and you're getting the basic ingredients from the CE Ferulic without that expensive price tag. So that's a top tip if you're looking for a dupe for a gorgeous, gorgeous product. I love, I love this um, antioxidant. It's plant-based, which is fantastic because if you're living a plant-based lifestyle, it's vegan, it's oil-free and it's water-free. So it means it's a stable as possible and it's not degraded in any way so you get that powerhouse packed full of antioxidant potential and I just love it the concentrations really are what the standard you can get a ferulic acid elsewhere you can get a reservatrol elsewhere but not in this powerhouse three percent concentration that's what really makes this a standout product so definitely definitely check this out if you haven't already overall you'll notice it's mainly pro very little con I love 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 antioxidants in skincare but i love the ones from the ordinary in particular they have taken really top notch proven scientific discovery and made it an accessible price point who doesn't want that in their lives whether you're already using a what i class as a basic um, antioxidant a vitamin c for example or a vitamin e absolutely fantastic and you need those in your skincare but if you want to supercharge that and throw in another antioxidant which can complement it absolutely go for one of these three if i was going to choose and i had to choose between them i would say definitely go for the reservatrol and ferulic acid i think that's the one that's got the powerhouse concentrations that we all crave and will really deliver the best protection for your skin but the euk 134 is honestly just as good they're all fantastic in their own way and um, i would say stay away from the euk 134 if you want a product which sinks in like that because it will take a little bit of time to sink in so it's not for everybody and i just think the reservatrol and ferulic acid is a standout product a 10 
out of 10, ding, 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 ring that bell because there is no better ex um, antioxidant out there. I'd love to know, have you tried any of these products? Do you have any thoughts or feelings on them? Leave me a comment below. What is your go-to antioxidant? I'd love to know. Wherever you are in the world, um, I hope you're staying safe and well. You'll give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care. Bye.